Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anand. Today we are going to study about control of microorganisms. The control of microorganisms is very important to prevent and treat the diseases. It is also important to inhibit the spoilage of food and other industrial products. So what methods we can use to control the microorganisms to prevent the disease and to inhibit the spoilage of food? There are two main methods. One is physical method. The other one is chemical method. When we talk about the physical method, it means that we are going to use the physical agents to control the bacteria or microorganism. When you are using physical agents, it means that this process is known as sterilization. In case of chemical method, the chemical agents, they are used to control the bacteria and microorganisms. The physical methods, they are further divided into heating, radiation, filtration in case of chemical method we have antiseptics disinfectants and chemotherapeutics in case of heating this method is very common and it is very effective to control the microorganisms why because it is going to denature the microbial enzymes and their other proteins there are two different types of heating one is dry heat the other one is moist heat the dry heat it can be applied for relatively long period of time for example for two hours at a temperature up to 170 degrees celsius for example in an oven you can use 170 degrees celsius temperature for two hours and this way the dry heat is going to kill the microorganisms how it is going to do that it is going to cause the oxidation of chemical constituents of the microbes and in this way they are going to kill them well in case of moist because the water is present that is why we are calling this heat moist heat it is very effective because it penetrates the cell better than the dry heat and it was going to cause the coagulation of the protein coagulation mean that the proteins they are going to stick together like this and because of this sticking together they are not going to perform their function and when the co coagulation of protein takes place it's going to kill the microbes the methods for moist heat includes boiling and pasteurization they both methods use the moist heat the pasteurization method which is used to sterilize the milk the next physical method to control microorganism is radiations Radiation below 300 nanometer are effective in killing microbes. The gamma rays they are used for this purpose and it kills the bacteria by breaking down bacterial DNA and inhibiting the bacterial division. So in this way the radiation they are going to control the microorganism. Then comes the filtration method. In the filtration the heat sensitive compounds that includes antibiotics, hormones or enzymes, they can be sterilized by membrane filter. For example, you have a filter and then you place it in some beaker or in some kind of uh, funnel. Then pour the mixture which has these heat sensitive compounds as these heat sensitive compounds will pass through this filter only pure compounds they will pass through while all the bacteria and microorganisms they will stick to the filter in this way you can control the microorganism division when you talk about the chemical method the first one is antiseptic the antiseptic are the chemical substances which are used on the living tissues and they are going to inhibit the growth of microorganism for example the rubbing alcohol when you go to the doctor for the injection or for IV or drip the solution they rub on your skin before piercing or before the injection is actually the rubbing alcohol which is going to sterilize your skin by killing the microbes present on your surface so that is antiseptic then comes the disinfectants the disinfectants are the chemical substances which are used on non-living material to inhibit the growth of vegetative cells for example on a table when you are going to perform your experiment you clean it with some kind of solution so that solution is actually disinfectant because you are using it to clean the non-living thing or a table 
they are oxidizing and reducing agents and examples include halogens phenols hydrogen peroxide formaldehyde alcohol and potassium permanganates so all these solutions they are disinfectants then comes the chemotherapeutic they are antibiotics which work with the natural defense and stop the growth of bacteria in living organisms so they are very effective because they are going to destroy the bacteria and in this way the division of bacteria it will be stopped and there will be no growth of bacteria some antibiotics are tetracycline penicillin and sulfonamides so that was all about the control of microorganism if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video